Hello. Hello. Welcome to our next daily instalment. Wednesday. Yeah, indeed. We um, just we're think, back. Yeah, it's us. Ta -da. It, I don't know, it was us before, it wasn't us, it wasn't us before, it was Zach and Maisie, in case you didn't realise. We thought, because it was April Fool's today, we thought it would be a bit of fun to do that, and I hope you all enjoyed getting rolled as well. I found today really tough. How about I, you? I worked a lot today, so I, the time went quickly, because I had loads of work to do, so um, that took up most of my day. Yeah, my problem is, I am working really hard every day, but I'm just stuck in the kitchen looking at a camera or looking at a computer and that is quite um, limiting in terms of my social interaction which I haven't realised quite how much I rely on. Mm -hmm. So I found it a bit tough. We're doing loads of video content because we can't obviously connect with young people in schools at the moment. But are people actually watching that? How do we get it out there? Are just Is it worth the time and energy of making these videos if we aren't getting a huge amount of engagement and how do we build that? So if you know young people that need something to inspire them each day, we are putting videos out there through the Coventry Youth Crisis YouTube channel. So do check that out. I'll put a link below. But yeah, so apart from being a bit frustrated, we've, uh, we've done kind of the same stuff we do every day. We went for a walk. And we lost wealth. We've never properly lost him. I know. Like we did today. It was horrible. Yeah. The last, it was really weird. It was a very similar feeling to when we lost Zach in IKEA yeah, when he was, was small. He was like, I just don't know what to do now. Uh, John went one way and I went the other way. And we think he just stayed where we were to start yeah. with and he was just sniffing around a pond. But anyway, there's a weird thing about going to a wood a woodland area because I know it, there were weird parallels between like the government talking about how like we're not out of the woods yet and, and yet we spend about an hour every day in the woods we're definitely still in the woods so that's that's an interesting one but maybe I shouldn't read too much into that anyway we now know people who are struggling with yeah. coronavirus as well so it brings it makes it a bit more real, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's a bit sad. Obviously, as Christians, our number one response is to pray for those people and offer support wherever we can, but it just feels hard when normally you'd go around and you'd you'd see people that are struggling and it's kind of like, you can't do that. It's just a text of a conversation on the phone or maybe, I don't know, a five minute video every day to encourage people, who knows? So yeah, it's a bit tough. I've found today tough. And I think the fact that a lot more people have died again today is hard because we just don't know where it's going to go. But anyway, enough about this misery. What, what's good in your life? What's good? It's a very clean and tidy house. Yep. That's, That's because I'm basically not doing anything other than sitting <laughs> in the kitchen. Where after hour. Um, we've had some nice meals. We've had, we haven't fallen out. Really, there's been no big no. arguments in the no. house. And well, That's really good. A couple of times about the way that we walk Wilf. But other than yeah, that. Yeah, but apart from that. Not a lot. No. Not kids lot. not arguing, so that's all very good. Yeah, and we had some questions again yesterday, which is exciting. So, um, what? Yeah, it's yesterday, like yesterday our kids gave you a really weird theme to ask us questions about. So, uh, sorry about that. The theme was soup, just literally soup. So, people have taken up the challenge and asked us some questions. So about soup, yeah. Some of them. I've got, got itchy nose. So, um, not meant to touch your face. Mainly from rugby as well. We must have had a big impact in rugby. Yeah, yeah. People if, just miss us, that's what it yeah. is. Yeah, if you're not from rugby, then just drop us a comment to say um, you, that you're actually watching this because I feel like we, anyway, it's just, it's, just, it's just a weird one. Also, if you are going to comment, can I ask that you comment on, put a comment in on the YouTube video rather than Facebook or WhatsApp because I find it really difficult to like keep track of all the messages I'm getting and where they all are. So if you just put, if you want to say something nice about the video, that's fine. But if you want to ask a question specifically, um, then just leave a comment right below in this video. That would be really below this video. That would be really really helpful. Okay, great. Okay. So here we go. This is from Narina in yeah. rugby. <laughs> Hi Narina. Hi Narina. Uh, Narina says, "What is your go-to soup when you are feeling ill?" Probably tin tomato. That's exactly what Narina said, tin tomato. There you go. And I have to admit, I do... With, with cheese chunks. Oh no, see yeah, yeah, I'm totally yeah. not with that at all. With cheese chunks. I've realised I'm not such a massive cheese fan. Mm. I would probably go with Heinz tomato soup. I, I, there are other forms of soup available, but I do like a, cl a classic Heinz cream of tomato, whatever that means, I don't know how you cream of tomato. But um, if I was ill, then I'd probably go, I just want some Heinz soup. Uh, but Heinz tomato soup. I really like 
um, vegetable soup. I think that's, no, vegetable that's soup is fine. Um, however, one of my favourite soups ever, even though I'm not sure about the texture of it, is cockaleeky. But that's more because it sounds like a medical condition and it makes me laugh every Do time you I read it. Remember, pre Zach Amazing, we were in, I think we were in your camper van and we cooked some carrot and coriander soup that had gone off. Uh, <laughs> it was all fizzy. Yeah, it was not nice. <laughs> it was not nice. We've got a question from Jackie in Rugby. She's now, a regular. Now, Jackie just wanted us to reassure that we haven't been taken hostage by our kids no, and we here. are actually here. And yeah, so you can tell that because we're doing the video tonight. So, um, hi, Hello. Uh, we're, we're both safe. Thank you for asking. Helen in Rugby. Also, Jackie, you tried to roll your own daughter this morning. That was funny, isn't our video? I love that. Well done. It was good. Helen, also in Rugby. Hi, Helen. Helen uh, says, chunky or smooth soup? Are you not allowed to say it's got cheese chunks in it, therefore it's chunky? Probably smooth. Okay. See, I, I'm, all, I'm all about texture. I, the one thing I don't like about tomato soup is that it's just like, it's just like actually having something with a bit of texture, I think, is really good. So, minimum, you want some croutons in there. There you go. But, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, I don't like soup with pasta bits in it, really. But there you go. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, thanks, Helen. Great question. Victoria in Rugby. Hey, Hi, Victoria. Uh, what was your question? Your question was, <laughs> can you recommend an alternative to soup? I hate soup. Sardines on toast? Baked beans on toast. Well, just anything, fish really. Fish finger sandwich. Yeah, we had fish finger sandwiches for lunch. They were pretty good. Fajita pizzas. Loads of things. You're just suggesting any food now, aren't you? Yeah. Is Spaghetti there a, hoops. But is there a liquid-based food that isn't soup? Like a smoothie or a milkshake? Oh yeah, maybe, but that's sweet, not savoury. Yeah. Mm. Well, depends what's in your smoothie, doesn't it? True. If you have a carrot smoothie, that's savoury. I don't know how it's any different to soup. Anyway, so um, thanks. Thanks, Vicky. Great question. Um, basically, anything that isn't soup is an alternative. <laughs> um, we do have another question. It's from Bob in Stratford-upon-Avon. Oh, really? Bob? Yeah. Fake Bob? Mm -hmm. You're so mean to people. Just because you don't know them, you assume they mustn't exist. I don't know this person. Wow. Does. Anyway, so hi Bob. Thanks for thanks for getting in touch. Bob says, I'm not a huge fan of soup. However, I think that Marmite is a bit like soup, just thicker. I would love to see you both eat a level teaspoon of Marmite by itself. Yeah, but on Bob film. doesn't exist. So why do I want to do it for Bob if it's not Bob's not real? You think Bob doesn't exist? There'll be hundreds of Bobs out there watching this. That's you again. I think I've had more things in this episode than you have in... The well, my phone's anyway. not here. So here we go. My mate, your mate. Ugh. Man, that's disgusting. Probably right. really old. Ugh. Very slow coming out. There That'll do. And I'll do one as well. Get stuck in your teeth, that's trouble. But I'll tell you what, it's a really good way of stopping bugs biting you when you... Uh, when you're on holiday. Anyway, so you ready? I've got a lot more than you. Good. Anyway, you ready? Uh, on three, three, two, one, up. Mmm. Oh, you need toast. Mmm. It's literally like being on holiday. So good. I hate it on toast. I hate it on toast completely. I can't eat anymore. What? I hate it on toast because it's just, it ruins your toast. But when you just eat it like medicine, it's, right. got, it's kind of just gone. There you it go. It tastes totally different on toast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, finally, one that isn't from anyone in rugby. Oh, this is, this is from someone in Crawley. Oh, creepy Crawley! Is that the creepy Crawley? South, South of London. London. Um, so, uh, and this is from a guy called Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Dad. Oh, yeah. It's your dad. Okay. Trevor has two questions. He says, with the restrictions in place around leaving your house, yeah, uh, how can you maintain 10,000 steps a day? Easily. So this morning I did Joe Wicks, potted around the house, and then we went for an hour's walk, and I am on 12,175. That's quite low. I did that thing again today, <laughs> where we did a walk, it was about an hour. And, and then I forgot, and then to forgot stop. to stop my Fitbit, so it's now registered as a three and a half hour walk. <laughs> <laughs> 
which is just so frustrating. And it drains your battery, so I'm now going to charge it up again. Next um, question. What soup did Jacob give Esau? Now, I know your dad. That is a joke. That is a joke just waiting to happen. What soup did Jacob give Esau? And I have thought about this. And I literally have no idea. So, Trevor, obviously you can post uh, or text me or whatever and let me know the answer. But we'd love to know if you know the answer to that or you can come up with some kind of a clever answer. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a joke. What soup did Jacob give to Esau? If you know the answer or you want to take a punt, again, comment below in the YouTube video. That'd be great. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah. I think the answer. All the questions done? Yep, all the questions Perfect. are it done. It is my good friend Steph's birthday today, although this will be uploaded tomorrow but happy birthday Steph what a rubbish day in lockdown to have your 4-0 birthday but we will celebrate when we are lockdown free that was, that was you me again, again. Wow. so happy birthday Steph love you yeah hi Steph happy birthday hope you had a great one positives um so my positive is that you always keep me calm when I don't feel calm. So yeah. when I left, when we lost Wilf, I was on the verge of crying and having a little, but you were like, it's okay, just ring me if you find him. Just, and you're very good at keeping me calm when I don't feel calm. Yeah. So I love the fact that you are kind of a minimalist kind of holidayer. So a bit like me, like you love camping, you love just the great outdoors. You don't want to spend, I mean, I know you have a thing about not spending money, then that's fine. Um, but it's great that we can go on cheap holidays in the caravan and enjoy that and have fun and yeah you know occasionally we'll, in the summer we'll, we've, we've gone a bit more exotic over the last few years and gone to France but actually it's just like we can have a really good time on holiday without spending an absolute fortune and I really love the fact that you're totally up for that and you don't want fancy hotels and all that jazz because if that's what you wanted you married the wrong guy anyway so there you go so yeah um, that's it, we're done. Not a lot to report, really. Uh, topic tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow, we want you to ask us questions about the world's worst. So in our opinion, what is the worst dot dot dot, or the uh, worst dot one. dot dot. And we will oh, see what we come that. up with. Oh, yeah, thanks for ruining Lara's breath and her taste buds, Bob. Really appreciate that. Anyway, so, um, so we're done. We hope you've enjoyed you. this, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. I hate the end of these. I'm a robot. <laughs> Are you a robot? Can I turn you off? <laughs> it's a lot easier to turn you off than turn you off.